Good evening. Well, last Saturday, once again, saw huge demonstrations taking place in London. Once again, the Palestinian flag was there for all to see. I've commented before that this is the politics of other countries now writ large on our streets. But I have to say what did really surprised me in many ways and, and made me ask a question. By the way, that sign, queer Jews for a free Palestine. I mean, I, I, I wonder whether gay rights protesters understand actually what goes on in Gaza and many of those countries around there. It seems rather like Turkey is praying for Christmas. Talking of prayer, this is what we saw on Saturday evening in Whitehall. Outside, number 10, Downing Street, and next to our cenotaph, our national monument to those that died in two world wars and since. I never thought I'd see these scenes in my country. Well, that is the Islamic call for prayer taking place outside two of our biggest and most important national symbols. And this is all because our political class decided, and if we go back to the 1997 general election, yup, it was Tony Blair, Alistair Campbell and Peter Mandelson who decided that they would rub the noses of the right in diversity. Mass immigration, diversity for the sake of it. And actually, Peter Mandelson was in the newspapers over the course of the weekend. He's going to be doing a big new podcast with the Times newspaper, How to Win an Election. Well, maybe, Peter Mandelson, what we should be asking you is how to ruin a country. Because the whole point, and those of us that were sceptical about immigration on this scale, is if you have that large a number of people that come, actually it becomes impossible to integrate into society. Something by the way that we had done better, I think, than all the other European countries until Blair came to power. Now, one person in government who did speak out, and she does this on quite a regular basis, is our Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, who, talking about those marches, those signs, uh, much of what was being chanted on Saturday, as on previous Saturdays, has said, to my mind, there is only one way to describe those marches. They are hate marches. And what she means by that, what she means by that is uh, that basically there are people there who are celebrating what happened in Israel, those awful events on the 7th of October. This has got to a point with Jeremy Corbyn being, quite rightly, I think, kicked out of the Labour Party, where I wondered, I've been speculating for the last couple of weeks, whether we would see an Islamic party. And indeed, an application went in to the Electoral Commission for the Party of Islam. It has been turned down by the Electoral Commission uh, on the grounds that they haven't laid down the right form of governance. But I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule out a party like this existing at the next general election, and certainly at the one afterwards. And the impact of this is now being felt even on the Conservative Party, where Paul Bristow, in a very, very junior PPS position, MP Conservative for Peterborough, has told the Sun newspaper that he is standing down as a PPS. He says it was absolutely the right decision for the PM to fire me. I obviously regret being sacked, but I have many thousands of my constituents who feel very strongly about this issue, and I feel I can better represent their views from the back benches than the government payroll. And, of course, what he means is that the centre of Peterborough has within it about 15% of the total constituency um, are people of Islamic faith, and there are many mosques in the centre of that town. So even in Peterborough, we see the effects of what I think is non-integration impacting on our politics. And then we saw the most astonishing events in Dagestan, in Russia, at the weekend, an aeroplane coming in from Tel Aviv and people storming the airport, basically looking to try and get their hands on Jewish people and lynch them. So it isn't just on the streets of London that we see things that we find disturbing. It's happening everywhere. It's happening in Paris, it's happening in Brussels, it's happening in Berlin, where the slogan of 1945 of never again seems to have been totally and utterly forgotten. And I just wonder, and maybe it is a very strong thought, but I just wonder, are we heading towards some form of religious war?